Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be talking about the new game Deltarune Tower Defense. Now if you don't know Undertale Tower Defense has been working on Delta Tale Ta Deltarune Tower Defense sorry, for a very long time now and it's been told like it's not going to be finished or whatever but no it will be finished and it's going to be very very soon. Well a few YouTubers and the old testers of the game got access to the special testing beta and it's not currently out at the moment, but it will be very soon. So I'm gonna be talking about what you can actually expect from the game and how it will work. Oh, and if you're new here, please make sure to like and subscribe. Even if you subscribe, it doesn't notify you unless you press the bell. So if you subscribe, it'll be like you didn't subscribe to us, but it will help us out a great amount. So we really appreciate it. All right, first thing we'll be talking about is how the map will work and how everything functions. Now before I actually go too deep into this, I do want to warn you, this is spoilers for like most of the game. So I just warn you, if you want to have a fresh start or like go into this knowing nothing, please make sure to skip this video. But the way this will actually work is once you spawn in right here, you'll drop down, it'll have you pick a character. Basically once you pick a character, you can either choose between Chris, Ralsei, or Susie. We don't know exactly what all three of them do. Ralsei heals base and Susie does a crap ton of damage. We don't know what Chris does yet, but we will know very soon. Now you walk over here all the way down here into this white little orb and what you do, you get teleported right into this room. Now this is spoilers for Deltarune itself, but after you get to this room, at the end of Deltarune it teleports you here and it's all basically like this is the dark world, all these paths and everything, this is the entire dark world. But basically once you go here, you go to this little teleporter and it says field. You press E, it teleports you there and normally when you start the game you'll just have field entrance. And if the more, like, say, checkpoints you get, it'll unlock more and more and more until the entire game. Now, this works completely different than Undertale Tower Defense because you can actually save your checkpoints and you have to do it through normal spots. Like, you can't just get carried. You have to do it each, each, each. And basically, yeah, you just have to keep going through each one. You get save points. There will be shops soonish, I'm fairly sure, but we'll get into shops later. Keep on, there's still, a, there's still a lot of stuff that has not been revealed yet, but there will, will be revealed very soon once the, the developer updates more and uh, reveals more. Now, gold works in this game a little bit different than Undersell Tower Defense. Basically, by going or going to gold, you will actually see this dark dollar icon down here. This is the currency for the entire game. And basically, you can use it to buy characters and such. You don't get any gold per kill, or dark dollars, I should say but you get it per like millisecond or so. So it goes up really, really quickly when you go into an actual fight. You can also increase this by going to dark income. Basically you press this once you get that much gold, you'll increase your gold income. But I do warn you at each save point, this will reset. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about are the boards themselves. So first of all, we have save point boards, which have these little white stars on them. Basically these are boards where you can either spawn in from the lobby or get a save point, which will fully heal your HP but it will reset your, your dark dollar income and it will reset your monsters. So going to one of these boards would cause this to happen. Now the next thing we'll talk about are the other boards. So basically there are three different kinds of arrows in the game. There's a red arrow, which means you have to fight the next board. There's a white arrow, which means it's a safe zone or you've already beaten the board. And then there's a gold arrow, which means it is a safe point. Now everyone has to be in a greens to go to one of these, so we're gonna step on this. And in come a battle. Basically, you want to protect this soul icon right here. And as you can see, our dark dollar income is increasing. So basically, we want to keep getting that up higher so we can kill things. Also, the next thing, uh, as you can see, every time we kill something, it's a 17 out of 100. Basically, this is the amount of spares needed to actually get the character itself. So if you get all 100, you'll get that character itself. So it's a very nice way of the game to function. So for Hathis, I have 19 out of 100, which means I need like 80 more. So I can actually use the Hathi, which I already have it though. So we don't need to go get that. And uh, yeah, so I think it's a really cool way to function the game. I just think it's a brilliant idea. Oh, basically every time one of these enemies reaches the base, it's like Undertale Tower Defense, where basically once they do, it will take that much away. At the end of the board, you will keep the HP, but if you go back to a save point, it will fully heal this bar up here. Now in the future, some characters will actually be able to heal your base, like Ralsei, uh, and probably some others. All right, we've finished the wave. Now we have three options where to go next. We have two fight options or we have the checkpoint we just came from. Now we're actually gonna head, I 
think it's this way. We're gonna head this way. No, yeah, it's dead end. We're gonna head down. And this is level two, basically. We wanna keep going until we get to a save point or the next area. All right, as you can see, we have two arrows here, a uh, red one and then another red one. And we have white. If we go to white, it means we'll go back and it'll be another safe area. Just because it's the area we just came from. All right, we just took four damage, which, me which means we have lost that four damage until we get to a save point or we heal. Oh, we're almost at 100 Hathies, which means we should get Hathi. It, sh it said recruited right there. If you saw that, and yeah, it says recruited and you get happy. Alright, we just took out that board, now we can go back to a safe board, or we can go to a save point. And when we go to a save point, our dark dollar income resets to one, our gold resets to one, and we get a full heal. Now we can go to this safe summer pass, we turn to lobby, and we'll have this spot saved. I'm also guessing we will make this the uh, falling scene from uh, the Delta Room when you actually fall down to this world. Alright, I think that's gonna cover it for this video. Uh, if you have any other questions about anything you saw that I didn't answer, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Definitely leave a comment if you want to as well. I'll be trying to answer as many questions as possible, but uh, yeah, alright, I'll see y'all later. Have a great day. Bye 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 b